Hey, it's Murphy. Hey, it's Murphy. Hey, it's Sue. And Megan. The, the Spine, Spine Breakers. Breakers. And today we are going to do a March wrap up. Yep. We'll talk about all of the books we read in March, including what we read for the sequel a thon. And we're drinking some Colorado Wild Sage Brett Saison from Crooked, Crooked Stave. Stave Artisan Beer Project, which is an artisan ale brewed with sage and lemongrass. And we've already been drinking on it. Ooh, I didn't realize it was like 7.2%. Well. Yeah, so we've already drank some and I kind of like it now that I'm not drinking it with fruit. Yeah, we were eating some like berries and it was kind of enhancing the tartness of the beer. Yeah, and it is fairly tart, but in kind of a nice way. Yeah. It's the lemoniness. You it's know? not too bad. And the sage isn't too heavy. Heady. Yeah. So I actually think it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. I don't mind <clears> it at all. All right, so I only finished four books, and I can only really talk about two of them. <laughs> so it should be a quick wrap up. Yeah, because I only finished two books in March, <laughs> so I almost finished three, but I got sleepy before I could finish <laughs> the third one. <laughs> so I finished it today instead. So the first book that I finished was an audiobook, and it was Atomic Habits: An Easy and Proven Way to Build Good Habits and Break Bad Ones by James Clear. Um, he is narrates the audiobook as well and I don't really know my final thoughts on this book yet because I want to um, like implement some of the things mm -hmm. that he talks about like do the things he says to do and mm -hmm. see if it really works and I haven't done that yet <laughs> um, but I plan to do that and do like a full review of the book so as of right now I would say I have um, I'm optimistic that it will mm -hmm. be good because it thing. seems legit but I, I don't really know for certain now. That's fair. Um, the first book that I finished was Clay's Ark by Octavia, Queen Octavia Butler. It is part of the Patternist series. So this is about kind of like this commune or this camp of people um, who have this disease that they have to spread and what it does basically is it makes you like you have to spread it. You have to infect other people. And it makes you kind of stronger than everyone else. You eat more than everyone else. Um, you are, like your senses are enhanced and you have to either like scratch someone to infect them or like breed with a, a woman to give birth to, to children who have this infection. And it came from, it was spread by this crew of astronauts who went to space and they picked it up on some planet and brought it back so it's like an alien virus that must be spread but it's very good four stars all right the next book i finished was <clears throat> the shadow of the wind by carlos ruiz zephon uh translated by lucia graves i'm sure you all have heard about this one because it's pretty popular in book two popular. but i'm not going to talk about it yet because i have other plans for it other so plans You'll have to stay tuned for a later video to figure out or to <laughs> find out what are. I thought of that book. The last book I finished in March was Life Before Man by Margaret Atwood. This is kind of a, a story of these three individuals in somewhat of a love triangle. And there's a married couple who they're kind of married only for the children at this point and just because of, you know, kind of convenience sake, but they, they both have other lovers and their life kind of goes by okay until the wife's lover kills himself and then things kind of get tippy so it's interesting the characters are not super likable they are very human and very flawed and it is a heap of drama and i enjoyed it uh, but it was not my favorite of margaret atwood's works so i think i gave it like three stars because i thought it was good and the writing was good but yeah i didn't love it um, and the last two books that I read were both for sequel a thon. And the first one was World War Moo by Michael Logan. Yes, I finally fucking Yay! read World War Moo. And uh, this is the sequel to Apocalypse Cow, which it, in Apocalypse Cow, all mammals become zombies. There's a, a virus or something outbreak and um, it infects all mammals in like the UK. It's set in the UK. It doesn't 
spread from the UK. But this book, um, there's two char two of the main characters in Apocalypse Cow are not super likable, um, and I, this story is kind of their redemption arc, <laughs> where they're both like, "Hey, we were really hey, shitty. We were, we're dead." <laughs> Um, but I really enjoyed this. I thought it was a really fun read. I didn't like it as much as Apocalypse Cow, um, so I gave this one four stars. I feel like Apocalypse, Apocalypse Cow was like, the whole plot was just like zany and ridiculous, which I really liked. And this one was more serious, um, which was fine, but I was expecting it to be zany and ridiculous. Zany and ridiculous. Right. <clears throat> And it wasn't as much, but yeah, I still read it pretty quickly and, and really enjoyed it. And that counted for the challenge of reading the sequel that I've been putting off the longest. And it also counted for completing a series, although this definitely ended in a way that I feel like there probably will be a third book, mm -hmm. um, but it has not been published yet. Although this book was published in 2015, so it's been like four years. <laughs> So I don't know, but this, so this ended fairly open, I would say. Um, and then I read a volume two of Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. And uh, this didn't count for any of the challenges, really, but I read it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It just continues the story of these two... Uh, <laughs> I flipped to a really gruesome, really nasty. little gross gross picture that I won't Nasty. show you. Um, <laughs> but it continues the story of these two lovers who are on the lam with their daughter because uh, their people are at war so they no. aren't supposed to be together. So they got to go. Yeah. And that's all I read this month. Yeah, same. I read most of, um, I think it was feedback. It was the fourth book in the News Flesh series. Um, I read most of that in March, like 80-something percent of it, but I got sleepy and didn't finish <laughs> it until today, so it does not quite count. Yep, so uh, that's all we read. That's all we read. Let us know uh, what you guys thought of mm -hmm. these books, if you've read them. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to do our TBR jar picks for April. For April. Do you want to go first or second? Don't matter. Okay. So we'll be going to pick three. Choose one. And choose one. Well, there's two. Oh. <laughs> and three. Three. Um, Slammerkin by Emma Donahue. The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. Oh. Depressing. And Mosquito Land. I don't remember who that's by. And it's obscured right now, so I can't see it. Um, I'm going to choose Slammerkin. 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 I've read that one. I enjoyed it. Jazz. All right. Jazz. Now mine, I put mine in a new container to make it easier for travel. <laughs> and it's an old candle jar, so it smells like pumpkins. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Wow. To pick all the different colors. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> no, it's a whole jumble of them. Damn it! I done fucked that up. And three. So we have The Fountains of Neptune, that's actually a sequel, so probably not that one. Probably not that one. Lawrence of Arabia, oh. which I've had for fucking ever and haven't read. And Stranger in a Strange Land. Oh. Whoo. Well, we're gonna take out The Fountains of Neptune. I shouldn't have even put that in my TBR jar because it's a sequel. It's part of a series that I haven't started yet. <laughs> and you don't need to start a new series. So I think. I'm gonna go with Lawrence of Arabia just because it's short mm -hmm. and I have a lot of books that I want to read this month. Mm -hmm. And also it's been on my shelf the longest. For many like months. it's been on my shelf for probably about ten years. So it's time. time. So I should read it. It's so time. I'm gonna go Lawrence of Arabia. Do it, do it. And yeah, like we said, the spears spears alright. Pretty good. Yep. It's not like my favorite mm -mm. style, really. No. But it's not bad. So that's it for us. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.